up guys and welcome back to the channel today we are going to be reacting to another k-pop madness video this one is going to be female edition we got two new uh k-pop groups that we're going to be reacting to plus three more that we've already done videos in the past first espa black mamba red velvet happiness so those are two new ones are returning black pink boom by the what i thought that one was the uh one that i was this was their debut one i think the last time i thought the one that we reacted to then was their debut so i got mixed up between that one and this one so finally gonna be reacting to that one and i know that they're gonna be like putting out like a new album or something so pretty excited to check that out um be doing itsy dollar dollar it kind of sounds like a money type of thing um but i was really like I, I really like what I heard last time as far as uh, with sneakers from Mitzi. I don't know if like that's how like their sound has always been or if it's something new that they're going with, but I really liked it. I enjoyed listening to that one, so I'm pretty excited to see what they're going to bring for this one. And then also, of course, we can't do this without Dreamcatcher, so the music video for that one or the one we're going to be doing is called What? Um, yeah. So yeah, we got quite a bit to react to and I'm pretty excited to hear all of them. So with that being said, we will go ahead and get into it. First one, Espa Black Mamba. It's always like so bright. So four of them again. Oh. Okay, first of all, these colors are just like popping like everywhere. I'm gonna turn this up because it sounds like a bop. Oh. remember if anybody asked me to react to them before they might have <laughs> I'm loving these colors for this music video Is there an actual like meaning to the name Espa? Because I just like thought it was the name of like their band or something. I don't know if it actually has like a meaning behind it. Let me know. <laughs> that was cool. The little ears behind her on the screen. I like this part. Actually, the whole song is pretty good. Oh, that's cool. Looks like Halloween. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited for Halloween just to get here already. Oh, that's cool. Kind of uh, reminds me of, um, what's the uh, KDA, the League of Legends uh, K-pop? Uh, band they might have actually done a song with them also i don't remember but um i know twice has done a song with kda but maybe i think they have also i would have to look it up i've seen all the kda music videos already because i always thought the the visuals really cool 
Or maybe that's actually like one of the characters from KDA. I don't know. Because it looks pretty cool. Could be one of them. I don't know. Those pants are really cool, those green ones. Nice. Is it gonna be con to be continued? <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say. That was kind of scary. <laughs> What's their, uh... Fandom name? <laughs> There's so many extra on the end. <laughs> Overall, guys, I really liked that one. I liked the, uh, whole... Um electronic sound in the back of it i think for this first uh impression like the first video uh i'm really impressed by it i want to know when this came out because it was super clear 2020 yeah okay so only two years ago and they have now 30 oh no this is just the their uh their producer or whatever i guess sm town 30 million subscribers so how many do they have on their own channel though Ooh. uh da, 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 da. four million subscribers they can do better but just because i i really like what i heard so i'm excited to get more into their group um but yeah so We'll go ahead and get to the next one, Red Velvet. I know someone had asked me to react to them before, so pretty excited uh, to see this one else. Oh, and they're under the same, um, I don't know, is it called a producer? Record label, there you go. They're under the same record label as Espa. Interesting, so then how many subscribers do they have? They have five million. Does this one like not have the regular um like English? I don't you think so? I don't think so guys. It's okay. So for both Espa and uh, Red Velvet, I decided to do their videos, the first one that was on their channel. Like, yes, their debuts. I don't know. It's actually their debut song or whatever. I feel like I've seen this music video before, but the song does not sound familiar at all. <laughs> they look like their um, their outfits look like kind of Harry Potter type type of vibe. They got Slytherin over here, except for Hufflepuff. They would need to change this one up, but they got Ravenclaw and Gryffindor over here. <laughs> That's really cool. I forgot what I was going to say before that, but that just caught my eye. Oh, it's definitely something different that I've heard as far as from like K-pop groups. Wait, 
what I've heard so far from K-pop groups. Did I say that? <laughs> the little bear. I like the art style for this video though. Oh, that's cool. I like this part. Vocals. <laughs> I was expecting it to go a totally different way. Happiness. Um, that one was okay. It reminded me of songs from kind of like early. Yeah, I guess you could say like early two thousands. I'll say maybe around 2004-ish. It kind of sounded like a like a song that I knew from back then. Um, again, I don't know if I've seen. I mean, I, I don't know if I've heard that song or not. But the music video looked really familiar. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about this. This is barely their first song that I've listened to by them. So I don't know if like all their songs. I doubt it that there's their songs are gonna have like this type of theme. Um, but yeah, it was okay. Not my favorite, but also not the worst um i really like the music video i like the art style behind it so yeah that was cool we'll go ahead and go on to the next one black pink boom bye -ya. finally getting to react to their first video <laughs> i also want to react to um lisa's sorry for stopping it so early lisa's her solo stuff also because i want to see like how different it is from how it how she is with uh black pink because I, I don't know i just like seeing people's also yeah they're good in groups but i also like seeing their solo talents type of stuff yeah sorry we'll go ahead and get back into it but i do want to react to some of her stuff black pink in your area black pink in your area I like that style. Goodness. Ooh. So they always kind of had like a little like foreign sound. I, I think I think I've yeah I know I've said that in like my other videos that their 
music kind of had like a different background and like I kind of mentioned Cruella like how it sounded like a Eastern to uh, like a certain region so I've noticed that with their music that they do that with a lot of their um, EDM type of sounds I, f I feel like their uh, their sound has like an EDM type of theme it's just what I'm getting from like what I've heard so far from them all three songs have had that kind of feel to it but yeah so far i really enjoy this one <laughs> kind of has it sounds like that like egyptian theme like kind of which, which one was it was it the last one that we just listened to no It was, um, I think it was How You Like That. Did How You Like That have that Egyptian theme? I think so. With the part where, like, Jenny's, or not Jenny, when, uh, Ro not Rose. Oh my lord, Lisa, when she's rapping. And what the hell was that? Is that, like, a native thing? I don't like that. <laughs> Jiso, right? Is it Jiso? I don't think so. I think I'm starting to like get all these female k-pops like members mushed together i'm i'm like not remembering anybody's name anymore dang only if i had long hair <laughs> I do not like that. Dang, that song was fire. I really liked that one. So I think the only thing that I did not like about this song was the little like native call that they did with the little whatever, like I can't even do it. But I did kind of take offense to that only because I'm native and I feel like whenever someone cracks like racist jokes or whatever they do, or like not even jokes, but whenever like someone's like being super offensive, they usually use that sound um so yeah i'm pretty sure that's not the intention it was just like kind of like a background noise for them to do uh and also when they're doing that it didn't really match like the style as far as like uh like how i said um it sounded like more of Egyptian sound and then they kind of mixed it, mixed it with like a native type of thing. Like that's two different cultures. So that's the only thing I didn't like about the, the song. Overall, I really liked the whole song. If that was their debut song, like that was really good. 
I really like what I heard from Blackpink. I, I still don't understand like what my friend doesn't like about them. So <laughs> yeah, I, I really like the song. It was really good. I'm gonna end up putting that one on my gym jams. Next, Itzy Dalla Dalla. Super excited about this one because I really liked what I heard from them last time. So I believe this is also their debut song. So let's go ahead and get into it guys. Or did I hear this before? No, did I? I might have seen the beginning of this video. She's cute. Oh, I was expecting to be something else. So it's not about money then? <laughs> Ooh, if you like, that was actually really cool. They kind of like went into the tunnel and it like sounded um, kind of like distorted a little bit. Kind of like if you were to yell in a tunnel, like how your voice kind of echoes. It kind of sounds like that with the, once they went in there, like the, the sound. That's so cool. And that switch up? I like that noise. It's cool. Yo, she is cute. <laughs> the key of souls. There's so much happening in this song. Is a bop. This is good meanies behind it too. <laughs> Jeez. Queens. I liked it. <laughs> I am really impressed with uh, Itzy. I'm surprised it took me a while to like actually listen to them. I really liked this song. The meaning behind it was really cool too. Also, it's just like wanting to be yourself. But you, but you like, it's like, you know, you're not perfect. You're different from everybody else, but you just want to be yourself. So I really liked the meaning behind this song. 
it sounded like there was like four different songs put together. They had the freaking little Kia logo down there. I know that product placement when I saw it because all the freaking Kias. Fun fact, my first car was a green Kia Soul. So another plus for Itzy. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm really impressed with them. I really like their music so far. I uh, can't wait to get into more of them. So I think today, like everybody's songs have been a bop so far. And now we got Dreamcatcher. <laughs> Let's go get into it guys. This is gonna be good also. It goes from like all pop and then we're gonna jump into that rock. Unless this one's not a rock song. But still, all good vibes today. Yeah, rock. <laughs> I said the only one that I did not know was Han Dong, right? Han Han Dong. Mm. So cute. <laughs> mm. I need to stop reacting to so many freaking K-pop bands, cause. Goodness, I just fall for girls all the time in these freaking bands. I mean, maybe I should just like start reacting to more boy bands, but it's not as fun. <laughs> it's not as fun as reacting to girl bands because then I get all Twitter pated and just watching them. It's like. <sighs> I totally forgot the title of the song was what. <laughs> They have that diary in all of them. All music videos so far. Well, that was different. <laughs> I did not mind it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, music video teaser. So that one, I did not mind. It wasn't my favorite. I, I did have trouble with some of the meaning. Um, I it's mostly had trouble trying to figure out whether it was actually a dream that they're talking about or they 
feel like their real life is actually a dream and they want to they just want to wake they want to wake up from what seems to be a dream i don't know that one was kind of confusing to me but majority of the time i was trying to like actually like read the lyrics because dream catcher songs there's usually like a lot like big deeper meaning behind it so when it comes to their songs i'm trying not to pay attention to the music video as much and pay attention to the lyrics but there's just like so much going on all the time um but this one was okay it wasn't my favorite but it was still uh had a pretty nice beat to it so yeah uh I don't know if this one is different from as far as like their different series. Night I'm guessing that's kind of a stupid thing to say because I think this would be a nightmare series. Part of the nightmare series when they're talking about nightmares. But you never know. Maybe it's not part of their nightmare series. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so today's music, guys. I really enjoyed each and every one of these songs that we've heard today. Um, looking forward to listening to more of each of these groups. Dreamcatcher, of course, always looking forward to uh listening to more of their stuff but i was really surprised by espa and uh, blackpink their debut song was really good and etsy their song was really good i said red velvet was okay um but i know there's a lot of people that really like them so i'm also really excited to see a lot of their music and what they have to offer so yeah really good uh reaction i hope you guys liked it also um go ahead like comment subscribe tell me what you think and yeah i'll catch you guys on the next one peace <laughs>